Sauce is amazing. I want sauce with everything. Everything literally is better smothered, dipped, or poured. I'm always that person in the restaurant, like, excuse me, do you have, is there like sauce that goes with this? Is there something to dip? I want gravy, I want stew. I want all the sauces all the time. This sauce, it does define the meal, right? It's like we can be anywhere and the sauce that comes with it and the sauce that it's in really tells you where you're at. That feels like I've like transported myself somewhere far and fabulous. <laughs> you can order a steak anywhere in the world. The sauce is going to tell you where you're at. If you're here in the States, right, you go to a steakhouse, you might get like a peppercorn sauce. You could be in Penang, it might be pineapple curry. Really the idea is just that like sauce is gonna show you the culture. It's gonna show you the history. It's gonna show you the technique. And then also too, I think sauce is like every other accessory, it is the defining factor, right? So it's like every one of us could have a little black dress, but like how I wear my black dress, what earrings, how I do my hair, which shoes, am I wearing lipstick, necklaces, scarves, shrug, shawl, jacket, tuxedo, like who knows, right? How am I like wearing this black dress? That's what's gonna tell you about like who I am, where I'm going, where I come from. Sauce is exactly that. Sauce is gonna tell you where we're at, where we came from, why we're doing this, what we want you to feel. So I think sauce is definitely the answer. <laughs> sauce making is gonna begin with a flavor foundation. What's my main ingredient, right? An easy one to go to just because it works with almost everything all the time, onions. You'd be surprised, even people who don't like onions, onions are in so many things um, because they're a fantastic base. They have a lot of water. They're also like a good emulsifier, right? Meaning that like they bring things together. So they're a good kind of like gap bridger. So whether it's onions, shallots, garlic, scallions, chives, these are your good sort of basics. In French cuisine, it is your mirepoix. So like carrots, onions, celery. That's pretty much the foundation for all French cooking. And then lots and lots and lots of butter. For me, being Puerto Rican, uh, which I found out in culinary school also, there's something very similar in Italian cooking. It's called sofrito. And so that is onions, garlic, bell peppers. That's like really good foundational stuff because from that point you can either do, you can do like a curry, you can do a jerk. And then it's really just like what herbs are you adding? What spices are you adding? You know, are we adding olive oil versus coconut oil or sesame oil? It kind of, then it's like, it's the span of all the different stuff you can do. Okay, so sauce fundamentals, really simple, right? You need fat, you need acidity you gotta have salt. Food is about balance, right? And sauce specifically is about finding the ratio of fat to acid, right? And then salt is what kind of like brings them all together flavor-wise. The thing about salt too, I think a lot of people are afraid of it. Without salt, it doesn't matter how many flavors you put in there, if you don't add salt, nothing's really coming out. Salt is like, it is the enhancer. And so for me, usually the two most obvious ones are always like acid, fat. Because for the most part, you need them in everything. If you're making sauce, you need acid, you need fat. So like, for example, salad dressing, because we can do a billion different kinds of salad dressings. The easiest thing to start with with salad dressing is it's a three to one ratio. That right there will take you far, my friend. Like, you can't go wrong, right? So you want three to one. You want three parts fat, one part acid. It could be anything. You could be olive oil and lemon juice, sesame oil and fish sauce. So once you have those kind of ideas, then you understand, okay, I can now play around with whatever it is I have in my refrigerator or in my pantry. Thanks for watching. Click the link below and take my full Skillshare class and we'll make some more sauce together.